All right, so we are taking a look at how to add links from PayPal onto a Google site. So first thing we're going to do, we log into PayPal, and here I'm logged in. I just have this over this to block out the details of this particular account. And then we're going to go over to Merchant Services. Click on that. And then after you click on that, we're going to create a payment button for the website. So we're going to click on Create Payment Buttons for this website. Now, uh, this little page comes up here and we have a few choices of how we can do this. Um, we have all of these different choices here, but if you go to save my saved buttons and you can look at how the old ones were done and use that as a template to create new ones. So, go to my saved buttons and let's go ahead and pick, uh, pick this one here. So I'm going to click on action and then create similar button. And so this way it will be just like the ones we've created in the past. We have the item name, so we'll change that, and the price, so we'll change that. Um, add a drop down menu, so depending on where they want to sit, left, center, or right, that's the drop down menu that we've created for them. And other than that, we shouldn't have to set up any other settings, and we'll just create the button, so that should do it. So I went ahead and changed those items here to one of the new shows and I'm going to click create button. Now I get this uh, set of code here and this little piece of code uh, if you click select code um, I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard so that I can copy this and then I'm going to paste this in to the place in Google Sites where we want it. So now we're going to go ahead and log into Google Sites. So at this point I've gone over to the ticket page of the Google Site and I click the edit button in the top right corner so the page is now in edit mode and what I'm going to do is go to the top left corner here I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to insert an HTML box. And Inside that box I'm going to paste that code that I had just copied from the PayPal site. So all that code that I had before just got copied from PayPal. And that dropped it right here. And so it looks like I have a few options here. I'm going to leave it um, with the default options that it comes with. The one thing you want to do is make sure that whatever uh, code you put in there, uh, the name of the show that you just uh, created is the goes above this box because this box will not include the name of the show. So I'm going to just click the back button real quick, copy and paste that name that I had here, and then I am good to go. And as far as formatting goes, if you click this little T here, when you have something is highlighted, it will remove the formatting. So then you can format it however you want later. But for now, let's just go ahead and get these all dumped in. So if we go down to the list of shows, I would just go in and add the next one. So I went into the list, looked at the next one, and I'm going to actually this time start out with pasting the name of the show first. Then I'm going to go back to PayPal, create a, another similar button, and set the right price that is the right price and then we are going to go and create this button and this button when we click in here everything gets selected we copy it we go back to our ticket page and we go to insert we go to HTML box we paste in everything that we just had copied and if all is working it should paste the correct link right here. So let's go ahead and save the page to make sure we're doing this right. Alright, looks like we have some interesting formatting issues going on here, so that is something we'll have to take a look at. But other than that, we have this, uh, all the options we need, the location choices, and the ability to add it to our cart. And if we click Add to Cart, just to see what would happen here, it does in fact add the right 
show and the right dollar amount. So our only problem now is just making sure we can fix this formatting issue. And so to do that, my best guess is going to be to add a few new lines. Make sure that wrap is turned off. Sometimes if you click it on and then click it off again, that will fix it. Not in this case, so let's try something else. An alternative option for formatting is to put things in a table. So when you go to edit and you go to table, insert table. So once your cursor is at the right spot, you would insert a table like I did here. Then when you paste these uh, titles and the uh, actual code in for the link, it will put them into their own separate formatted areas. So the toy around with the formatting to get it exactly the way you want it, but as far as just getting it something that should basically work the HTML boxes uh, in a table should do the trick.